I booked this train. I'm getting on this train. This train is not leaving without me on it. You'll have to call the police. Well, okay then, I'll just stay here and make everything late. This summer I decided to do an item off my bucket list, the Bernina Express, a famous and spectacular rail line between Italy and Switzerland. To do so takes much money and a very lot of organisation, especially as a disabled person. I used thousands of pounds of compensation and money Dad kindly gave me from Grandma's inheritance, and spent countless hours researching and contacting airlines, hotels and rail companies to make it happen. It is always much more complicated to book than it is for a non-disabled person. The Bernina Express, run by the Raetian Railway, is no exception. Non-disabled people can buy tickets and make reservations interactively online. Wheelchair users have to do so by email and international phone calls. So ten weeks before I was due to travel, I exchanged multiple emails and phone calls with the company over three days. They phoned back and there was a confused conversation about which space I was booking, but they assured me I had booked a seat I could get next to in my wheelchair. So you, you were asking about the reservation with the wheelchair for the Bernini Express train special. But, yes. That's not a problem. The seats are safe. I already booked them. Oh, brilliant. For Tirano to San Moritz. Yeah. I will confirm you, your booking. Thank you. And I will check something else in case I can uh, do something. I will um, give you the new confirmation. But Thank uh, you. Emma, at this moment, there is just like you have to swap the seat. Uh -huh. But you can go right away next to the seat with the wheelchair. That's yeah. not a problem. So you just have to move from one side to the other side. So. That's brilliant. Oh, that's yeah. Thank you so much for sorting that. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Thank you for it. your understanding. And I uh, wish you already now a good journey with the Bernini Express. I bought a ticket online, then I had to phone the Swiss Rail Assistance Booking Service to book the wheelchair lift on and off the train. Then I got this email. We found now a solution to give you a space where you can stay in your wheelchair in the panoramic coach. We changed the booking from coach 11 to coach 12. There we have the possibility to remove the seats. I was overjoyed. After four days of multiple emails and phone calls, I had achieved the same booking a non-disabled person can make online in seconds. I booked to stay at Colico the night before due to rail replacement work on the Italian railway to go up the Muatus Muragel for Unicula in the evening after the Bernina Express and to stay in a hotel in St Moritz afterwards to cram as much as possible into the expensive once-in-a-lifetime trip. I then spent weeks of enjoyment learning in detail about the line, buying and reading books about the line, watching documentaries and cab ride videos and driving the line on my rail simulator. My excitement grew as the time grew closer. My companion and I flew to Milan, caught the underground on the train to Colico, stayed overnight in the hotel and the rail replacement inaccessible bus replacement taxi to Tirano, ready to catch a Bernina Express, only to be told on arrival that the seats had not been taken out and that there was no wheelchair space. Yeah, you are right. Why didn't he even tell me? Just, just one second. Yes. No, I, I just want yeah, to Sorry, I have seen your reservation also on Why the Why didn't you email me or phone me? Yeah. No, just find out now. The, the office has so uh, done, but it's not good. It's been thousands and thousands of miles. Oh. I've traveled three days for this. I'm so Two sorry. Two days. Yeah. I've been yeah. looking forward to this for months. Yeah made arrangements and now they didn't even tell me that I can't get on the panoramic coach. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I'm so sorry for this. I'll tell you what, this train isn't leaving unless I get on a panoramic coach. No, I don't, but um, now we are finding a solution. Yeah, I, I know. I know. You're right. You're right, Monsieur. I'm so sorry. Where is the wheelchair space, though?
I think it was this point when they realised that the interior carriage door was too narrow for me to get through in a wheelchair, even if they did lift me up. No, no, pasa ni allí ni allí, ni alguna parte. ¿Cómo lo hacemos? Ma es una trizo. Ah, la factura de la prima clase. No. Ma en qué manera se son dentro va con el sballato, ¿sí? Esto es sballato. Esto es sballato. Esto es sballato. Esto es sballato. No. Es una hora, dos horas. No, no, no. Just one hour. I booked this train, I'm getting on this yeah, train, this right train is not leaving without me on it, you'll have to call the police. I'm not going to the top row three, it's not, well, how is it panoramic and where is the food service? It's not the same at all, I booked the panoramic coach and the train is not moving without me on it. Well, that's your problem, isn't it? That oh, you'll have to cancel the whole train unless I'm on it. No, call the police. This is not moving without me on it, yes. You call the police because this train is not moving. This train, I will block departure, is not moving without me in the panoramic coach. Yes, you call it. Well, okay, then I'll just stay here and make everything great. I've been planning this journey for months, took all these arrangements and I turn up and it's just not possible and you have to even bother to tell me. We have found to find the solutions in this space where you can stay in your wheelchair in the panoramic coach. We train the book and coach left to coach 12, there we have the possibility to remove the seat. April I did that two months ago. They didn't even bother to tell me it was going to be possible. Hey, Gary, you have to leave. Yeah, I see. Yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, can, we, we, can, we can reform your ticket, I but we have another one. Yeah, yeah, okay, but uh, you can't stop. I want to travel on this panorama. Well, I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I can do nothing. I'm and, not and, 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 I am not leaving until it's sorted. Yes, my problem is uh, all my problems. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have to call the police. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, call I called the police. Call the police. See, I do not leave my he went off to call the police. It turns out that the problem wasn't just that there wasn't a wheelchair space. The interior carriage door was too narrow to get a wheelchair through. So I came up with a suggestion. If they took me up in the lift, I could transfer from the doorway into the seat just inside the carriage and travel like that. I have a they didn't do anything about my suggestion though several minutes went by then a police officer came he was okay. He didn't speak any English, so I used Google Translate on my phone to tell him that I had suggested a solution. He agreed that it was a sensible idea and told the train company to do it. But just as I was about to be lifted on board, these fitters boarded the train and started removing the seat that I had suggested that I would transfer into. <laughs> Moment, moment, moment. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Oops.
Excuse me. They're putting them back in. Um, I think they're trying to get them out. I need the seats there. They need to stay. Oh. Uh, I understand. Mm -hmm. The assistant can't get through now. So the seats. Yes. Wait a moment. Just give me. Please leave the seats in. I transfer onto it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Si prega di lasciare i posti nel trasferimento. What a mess, though. Si prega di lasciare i posti nel trasferimento. But they just kept removing the seats. What? Yeah. They're moving the situation. I need to see there so I can get on it. That's what we were trying to tell them. I can't get onto a seat if it's not there. No, no, no. That's what we were trying to tell them. You can't squeeze to that. Like, can Just the dimensional. I can move to a seat here. I cannot move to a seat there. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There. There's no way I can get over there. Yeah, yeah. Just transfer it across. Not there. That's why I was saying all along. No. No. They then spent several minutes reinstalling the seats that they had just taken out. The policeman then beckoned my companion out where he was confronted by train staff for allegedly filming them. The staff told him that he had, quote, one chance to admit filming them. Over the several minutes that the fitters were reinstalling the seats, the policeman searched the entirety of my companion's phone. He searched all of his photos and videos, then they searched all his social media, including Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, only to discover that, in fact, my companion hadn't been filming anybody and that the allegation was made up. Such a crude invasion of my companion's privacy. I was filming the situation, of course, on the GoPro that's openly attached to my wheelchair, but nobody mentioned or questioned that. Grazie. <laughs> I could finally transfer into a seat, fold my wheelchair up and put it in the luggage rack, all with an audience of staring passengers, of course. We set off 40 minutes late. I settled into my uncomfortable seat, also realising I had no access to a toilet throughout the two and a half hour journey. In the end, I had to wee in a bag and Mike had to carry it down the train to the inaccessible toilet, which wasn't very dignified. We tried to get over the stress and enjoy the experience, but to be honest, the journey was wrecked for me and the memory will be forever tainted. Yeah, I was literally holding my camera just under my arm because I was busy watching what was going on. And they, they, they accused me of videoing everything. I'm like, they made me check all my social media, all my photos. I'm still sort of coming down. Yeah, I am a bit too. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's completely and partially justified. I have no idea how much trouble you're going through. Yeah, it's just treating what? me like a fourth class citizen, isn't it? Not even bothering to tell me. Yeah. And then making it your problem. Yeah. I was like, your problem. You took thousands. <laughs> Get here, time yeah. to get here, the, the amount of hours you put in. Yeah. You know, for them it's a little snippet in time, isn't it? For you, it's a huge, you know, carefully calculated, well planned trip. It's expensive and it takes time, energy. Yeah, <sighs> God. When the staff came through the train, we thought we would give them the opportunity to apologise to Mike. You accused my carer of filming and photographing you when he hadn't, and he proved he hadn't. And nobody, and nobody said sorry to me. I didn't video you at all. He went through my Facebook, he went through my Twitter, he went through my family photos. Facebook, Twitter. Okay. So, but apologies. That's my word against yours, so okay. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's also your word against the fact that he didn't actually film anybody, and he proved it to the police. <laughs> the train staff gave us a free drink. In response to my subsequent complaint, the train operating company sent me a sincere apology. They explained that the accessible coach had been taken out due to a fault in the air conditioning system and replaced with an inaccessible one. They say that they will learn from my experience. They have also offered to refund my seat reservation fee of 56 Swiss francs. 
sadly, an apology and a refund will not do anything to repair the memory of what was supposed to be a bucket list journey. This was utterly wrecked through Roy H. Barnes' thoughtless and casual ableism. They seem quite content to treat disabled people as fourth-class citizens.